you're looking to sell your Sparklet, but you just can't seem to bridge it from Upland to your MetaMask account. I'm going to tell you why that's happening. If you obtain Sparklet within Upland, you can't just bridge it to your MetaMask wallet immediately. If you want to learn more about Sparklet in the Metaverse, make sure to check out our introductory course, which covers everything from the utility of Sparklet to what types of players need it, the tokenomics of the token, as well as how to export it from Upland into your MetaMask wallet. I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide. I'm here to unlock the secrets of the Upland Metaverse. On this channel, you can find everything you need to build your Upland empire. Expert tutorials, winning strategies, pro tips and tricks, and a lot more. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to stay ahead of the game. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the Upland Metaverse, that knowledge is truly your most valuable asset. Another requirement before you are able to bridge your Sparklet out of Upland and onto the Ethereum blockchain is that you're going to have to stake your Sparklet. Here you can see the exact wording of these requirements, but I found it quite confusing. I did speak with an Upland team member, and they were able to clarify it. Now, in order to explain this in the simplest terms, I'm going to assume that the moment that you earn the Sparklet, you're going to begin staking it immediately. The requirement is for you to stake that Sparklet for a minimum period of 30 days, which is 720 Spark hours or 720,000 Sparklet hours. On top of that, there's an additional 30 day cooldown period, but you're just going to continue staking your Sparklet because you don't want to have a scenario where your Sparklet isn't working for you. Now let's say what happens after you've finished completing your structure after 10 days of that 30 day period. It's okay that it's idle. It doesn't have to be continuously staked, but you do have to stake it for a period of 30 days within a 90 day window. So let's say you found a spark treasure while treasure hunting in Upland and you got 200 sparklet. You're going to want to stake that for 60 days. Now let's say any day after that, up to 29 days later, you find more sparklet. It can be any number up to or including the amount of sparklet that we had staked before. So up to 200 sparklet. Now this sparklet, again, you're going to have to stake it for 30 days. Now, if you found that on the 29th day, that's going to bring you up to the 59th day. Since this sparklet was staked while you are still staking the initial sparklet, when you get to that 60th day, you are going to be able to bridge out all of the sparklet that you had. So the 400 sparklet, because each was staked for the minimum of 30 days, and the initial sparklet had that additional 30-day cooldown period. Now let's look at another scenario. Day one, again, you're going to find 200 sparklet while treasure hunting, and you're going to start staking that for your 60 days. Now on day 31, you're going to find another sparklet treasure with 200 sparklet in it. Now that's going to have to be staked for 30 days, which will take you up to day 61. Now instead of removing the initial sparklet after 60 days, you're going to delay that for an additional day to 61. That way you're going to be able to extract once again all of that 400 sparklet. On the initial sparklet that you had staked for 60 days, you have to have a 30-day minimum staking period plus the 30-day cooldown, and that's going to have to be within the 90-day window. So leaving it in for an extra day to bring it up to 61 days is going to save you that cooldown period on the sparklet that you earned from that second treasure. Now to clarify once again, this requirement is only for sparklet which was earned within the Upland Metaverse. If you had bridged any amount of sparklet into Upland, you are free to take that out without this restriction. Learn more about Sparklet in the link in the description below and continue watching these videos. If you have any questions, leave a comment and make sure to hit like and subscribe.